It's a lot of problems that we go through day to day A lot of shit I can't say or I'll be locked away Sometimes I feel like my life is a fucking waste Or I'm going down into a deeper place A deeper state, see the hate is great I like to see different ways and says And as long as I get paid, it's okay Who am I kidding? This money don't mean shit anyway And I say that any day See, my dad left me at the age of two My mom turned to drugs, nothing else to really do And I even lost my brother, man, I miss you, Matthew Looking at my family now and we only got a few And my grandma really sick, I just pray that she don't lose Y'all don't understand half of the shit that I'm going through I understand now why they had to turn a honey blue I just got one fucking question What if this shit was you? Huh? Alright you guys What's Gucci man? Um, Welcome to a new vlog or whatever you know Um, I know this video is kind of different from what we usually do But without further ado um, About to spark up Bro I went to the bank right now and guess what? It's Martin Luther King Day, I guess. And, um, it's close. I'm like, damn. I got ready for nothing, bro. I woke up early for nothing. Not for nothing. I mean, I get to make this video, post it later on. Everything's gonna be Gucci, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all watching this today on Martin Luther King's Day. It's the same day. I'm gonna post it, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. As y'all can see in the title, y'all wanna learn how to get rid of your acne. I mean, that's why you click this video, of course. And I'm going to show y'all exactly how to get rid of acne. So, check this out. I know I got a big-ass red bump right here. But it was way worse this morning. And it's not... It's This bump is from a bite. Like, um... An ant bite or something. Like a mosquito or something like that. But, like, I usually get, like, random bumps sometimes. Like, everybody does. Like, say you're going out for a walk in the woods. And, like, a mosquito bites you. You got a little red bump. I know how to get rid of those red bumps fast as hell so basically what i did today this morning i had a big ass red bump it kind of looked like ringworm from a cat you know what i'm saying i kind of thought it was at first so i have this supplement that i made at home it's a supplement that anybody can make so what you need is about a teaspoon of vinegar write this down guys trust me if you ever have bug bites this will heal it as fast as possible <laughs> Motherfucking um, one teaspoon of vinegar, white clear vinegar, right? A whole lot of honey. You need about like, like get a water bottle, fill the honey up a good amount, like probably like, I don't know how to explain it, but um, put a good amount of honey, one teaspoon of vinegar. And, um, it said pepper? No, 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 pepper. Damn, I'm about to mess y'all up. Ground cinnamon. So, what this does is it activates something that helps the skin actually tighten up. Instead of sagging down or, you know what I'm saying? It actually, it was for a wrinkle. Um, this, this supplement is for wrinkles. So if you can't afford wrinkle cream like ponds and all that good stuff, then what you want to do is create your own supplement with honey, vinegar, and ground cinnamon. Now, what this does is it activates your skin to be tight. Like the honey and the vinegar, how it works together, is it's amazing. You know what I'm saying, guys? So I put this on only like an hour, and it's already almost fully gone, this circle that I had on here. I had I have pimples sometimes. Like, you can see my face is extremely clear. Like, I have no big pimples, you know what I'm saying? Like, none. But, like, long story short, it's because I, I follow my steps day by day. So, here's the first step you want to do, guys. Do not touch your face throughout the fucking day. This is the hardest step people, you know, don't understand. Because they too busy putting makeup on their face and all that good stuff. And I'm going to tell you right now, girl. Girl, you look good without makeup. If you can't look good without makeup, then why you got to cover yourself with makeup, girl? People want to see you for you. You know what I'm saying? Look, I like a girl without makeup. Like, I don't care if you have makeup or not. Like, whatever your face is, that's who you are. 
that's who I, I like, you know what I'm saying? And if you could fall in love with a girl without makeup, imagine with makeup, you know what I'm saying? So, make sure you, if you ever date a girl, make sure you date her knowing how she looks without makeup. On, on some real shit, because, like, God made us like this. Why we gotta cover our face up? I don't wear fucking makeup, but guess what? If I, if I would, I could, you know what I'm saying? If I could, I would. But, um, to be honest, I... Like, I don't touch my face, so if you're doing makeup, you're touching your face a lot. You're putting oils and all that stuff on your face. You're making your face greasy. See, my trick is, is keeping my face extremely dry. You're like, bro, it sucks to have dry skin. I know that, but like, honestly, when you have dry skin, pimples form pus, right? So when a pimple forms pus, it has to have some type of moist, um areas to form pus you know what i'm saying type shit so basically if you have very dry skin you're less of a chance to getting a moist pimple because your skin's very dry you dig what i'm saying now sometimes you're gonna wake up with a pimple and it's not your fault maybe your pillow's dirty maybe you know you were driving you had your windows down and some polluted air hit your face sometimes it's not your fault i get that you know what i'm saying Sometimes I wake up with pimples randomly, and I'm like, dude, I didn't even touch my face. I just washed my face. Matter of fact, how did I have a pimple, you know? And, um, so basically, this is what I do when I have a pimple. So let's say y'all have acne right now. I want y'all to try this, and this will 100% work. Because it worked for me, I know damn well it worked for you. So, I get hot water. Make sure it's warm. Make sure you got warm water going. You get your hands like this. You go over the sink, and you just... Keep on opening your pores with the warm water. Look, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So you turn on your water, and you just keep on splashing that warm water. Do little circles with your fingers. Little circles, tiny circles, tiny circles, tiny circles. Make sure your hands are 100% clean. Make sure you're clean with soap, water. Make sure you're seeing your ABCs. Make sure you get between your uh, thumb, thumbnails. Thumbnails, that sounds so weird because I do YouTube now. Make sure you get under your nails, matter of fact. Thumb nails. That's thumb nail. Oh, yeah. Okay, so make sure you get under your nails, right? Because that's the most important part because a lot of dirt and traction goes under your nails. So, boom, you start rushing your face. You're doing little circles with the warm water. You're going to start to feel your face being numb. Once your face is numb, that's when you get your soap or whatever kind of um, soap you're using to clean your face. Like, say, you're, you, I don't use no soap. I actually just use water basically it that's all i use but if i had soap my skin would look freaking 10 times more clear than this but um use soap if y'all have soap like like um acne soap or anything boom do the little circles continue with the warm water but when you're in the middle of scrubbing your face put that warm water and mix it with a little bit of cold to where it's warm warmish you know it's not too hot it's not too cold then you wash your face off right no, you don't wash it off completely. You, you you wash it with the warm water. You know what I'm saying? Then, after you're done, you take the hot water all the way off. Completely ice cold water on your face. Spray it all over your face. Do the little circles. This will now close up your pores after they're being clean. Then, what you do is you do not dry it. Do not use paper towels. Do not use napkins. Do not use a towel to dry your face. If you do this, you are most likely to see some more pimples coming up. So what you want to do is let your face self-dry. And it's going to be really really tight and dry. But that's good. It means that your face is super, super clean. And what's going to end up happening, if you do this day to day, day by day, day by day, day by day, you will not have pimples. I guarantee you. This is supposed to be like a class that you're supposed to pay for type shit. But I'm telling you all the sauce for free. This is the easiest way, like, Proactive doesn't want you to know this. People that sell acne medicine, they don't want you to know this stuff. So, girl, if you want to get rid of your acne, you're going to have to take an L on the makeup. Just don't wear makeup until your acne is gone. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just handle your business. But, like, I'm telling you, even if you have deep acne, like, like, inside the skin, like, like, deep holes and shit, this will definitely help you. Follow my steps. Open the pores. Clean it with soap. Dry it with cold water. And do not 
let it self dry. Trust me, this is the main part about it all. I used to wake up and I used to get like, like on around my nose. I used to get like um, kind of like dry, dry skin, and it's kind of it would be like white sometimes, like really dry skin, like ashy skin. When it's like that, okay, you might want to use some face um, moisturizer, but only after your pimples are gone. Now, once you use your face moisturizer, like I said, make sure your hands are very clean um, within the nails and all that stuff before you put it on. And you don't want to put a lot of moisturizer on, only on the parts where you have dry, dry skin at. Because, trust me, you want to keep your face as dry as possible. Less oily as possible is the best thing for acne. I'm telling y'all right now, because like when you sweat and all that good stuff, it's like really easy to get acne. But basically, follow those three easy steps, guys, and I guarantee you, you will not have acne. This will work, like, it works for me. Like, say I have a pimple right here, 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 right here. It's happened before, trust me. Alright, I think that's good. So, um, basically, I, um, I basically just, like, wash my face the, the night before. Very warm water if I have a lot of pimples. And then, while well, I do this, I don't do this unless I have pimples. So sometimes I'll be slacking and I'll be lazy. And I allow myself to get pimples. Like the other day, I had a pimple right here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you have a pimple, guys, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell y'all this. This is a main important uh, factor, too. If you have pimple with pus on it, just by washing your face, it's not going to go away. So what you have to do with that, I'm sorry to say, you have to pop it. You have to make sure you get all the pus out before you clean your face. It's strictly business to do it before you clean your face. Because if you do it after, you're just going to have to clean your face again. So, do this before you clean your face. So, say I had a pimple right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. With pus, right? I have to pop every single one that I can see with pus. Do not overdo it. You leave a scar. Do it very lightly, maybe with your pinkies. I don't know. Do it very lightly. To where you don't see blood. Once you see blood, you messed up. You already went too far, and now you're gonna have a scar. Scars go away within a couple days using my process, okay? But what I wanna tell y'all is so basically, when you do this setup, you wanna pop your pimples first, then do that. Because by the time you're doing the cold process, the cold water process, your pimples that you popped are now dried up. They're gonna dry up and they're gonna become a scab. ASAP. So this morning I had this big one right here. It was a scab and I just peeled it off. It was so simple. Do not peel your scabs until they're ready to get peeled off. They're gonna look like black. You know what I'm saying? So if they're reddish still, don't touch them because you're gonna make it worse. Maybe even a bigger scar. Maybe even a hole in your face, dude. I've seen this before. I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? But um basically guys this is the steps on how I use, like what I do to get rid of my acne. And I'm telling y'all, I never, I used to use proactive. I used to use all that stuff. And I used to buy acne medicine and all that stuff, right? Until I find out, found out this process. It saved me a lot of money. I don't even worry about my face no more. Like it's, it's like, cause I already do the routine. routine. I don't ever touch my face when I touch something dirty because... I used to do that a lot, you know what I'm saying? I used to touch my face a lot and I used to end up getting pimples, of course. So it's common sense. Don't touch your face. Keep it as dry as possible because oily faces, they're most likely to get more pimples. And like I said, girl, you look good without your makeup. So don't be, don't care what these other people say because in one week, once your acne is all gone, you can start wearing makeup again. But just make sure that you handle your business. Make sure every night, maybe after your makeup is put on, at night you wash your face off and do that routine. That will help you a lot, girl. I'm telling you. And, like, I'm telling y'all guys, like, y'all don't, if y'all can't have a girl without her makeup, then y'all can't have her at all. You know what I'm saying? So, make sure y'all find a girl that y'all like without makeup. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, the people I fuck with, I, I like them without makeup. So, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's like, I don't know. But anyway, guys, I hope y'all like this video. Make sure y'all uh, drop a like, subscribe, share to friends with acne 
so this video could go viral, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people can understand the true, easy, free method of acne loss, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to say thank y'all for everything. Um, we're almost at, what, 230,000 subscribers. I just want to thank y'all for that. And um, let's keep on subbing, man. 300K special coming soon. And, um, yeah, we finna get it. So this is gonna be crazy. Um, I got new music coming as well. But I'm just dropping freestyles right now, as y'all can see in the beginning. It's just like freestyle here, freestyle there. That's what I'm going to be doing all 2019. Even music videos, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? But just bear with me. This month was a little rough, you know. Had to cop the whip and all that stuff. So just, um, yeah, bear with me, guys. Let me bounce back. Happy Martin Luther King's Day. Um, I hope y'all have a dream as well. 